What's going on guys, Adam Luce here. Welcome back to another video of Move Weight Fishing. Today, we got my buddy Luke with me. We're gonna get into that in a minute, but let me, let me first, let me first start off by saying we got the moving weight hats, baby. We got moving weight, moving bait. We got such sick designs. They're live right now as you're watching this video on the website, movingweightfishing.com. We'll have it linked in the link description below and it'll also be popping up right here. It really helps support the channel if you guys purchase a hat and they were going so quick. I guarantee you we're gonna sell it in a week. So if you guys don't go on the site right now, you're missing out. Anyways, uh, Luke's the one who designed these hats for me. I'm gonna let him I'm gonna let him tell you guys what he does. Hey guys, I'm the owner of the Quest of Painting. I specialize in custom artwork, murals, uh, graphic design, anything, you name it. Yeah, Luke actually is the one who designed these hats for me. I've worked with a couple graphic designers and Luke's definitely the best. You definitely want someone who's gonna stay on top of your work. Like my biggest pet peeve with working with anyone in general is like if they don't like update me on what's going on and Luke the entire time updating me, he, he worked his butt off and he did an awesome job. He, he did the mutton snapper and then this entire here, let me show you one. This one you can really stand out with the high this. The entire moving bait one, really like those diamonds, the sabiki and then the sardine, those came out awesome. So Luke's the man, he's not expensive if you guys want him. I'll have his Instagram link below. Do you have a website? No, not yet. Okay, so I'll have his Instagram link below. You can direct message him if you guys want anything done. Just just shoot him a message and I'll work from there. All right, I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Got a couple clips, whack some fish, go buy a hat. Just pulled up to the bait rock here, boys, and they're solid. Look at all the bait. Unreal. 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 CJ, are they nice or are they little ones? S? They're S. Dude, there's literally an acre of Deans. You do not see it. Yo! And there's sligars. What you know about a little petite Dean like that, boy? You, know, you don't. All right, look, this is just unreal. We're gonna do some bait smokers real quick for you. Are they all slicks? I don't know about that. Yeah, they're not. I don't care. They're... I don't know if that's that even qualified. You don't see that every day, boys. It looks very greeny esque, as it were. Let's see what you got here, G. Wow. The birds are just going crazy. That looks like a dean. They're not straight. They're not. Out. They are. Out. Just like Little petites. Little petites. You know us. You know, Jay. They they come on top like this, and I don't know. What, they're just eating sustenance. That's all it is. They literally come to the Surfonius and just flick. You'll see their little tails pop out of the water, just like that. See if I can. It's hard to really see. You got to be looking closely, but they're just eating sustenance. They're chewing, boys. Everybody's got to eat. Jay's hooked up on a nice dolphin, boys. Uh, I literally. Behind, he's behind her. Here. Only had one rod, rod, rat, rod rigged, and there's two, about six pounds. Oh, she was right behind my hill. Down. Okay. Ready? He's got to smoke it. No, we just smoked it. Don't smoke it. No. Don't get tangled in the other one. Get it. Get it. It's like a snook. Dude, we're in 60 feet of water, boys. I CJ, we're literally sitting here and I'm like imagining a dolphin behind the boat. And I'm like, I'm like dozing off and CJ's like, nice dolphin. <laughs> Classic. We literally had no, we had one rod of Sabiki on it still because we just got out here and the other rod had a flat line on. 
we were not prepared for this. That's, but that's when they swim behind the boat, right? So David don't bring the drift rod. Anyways, try and get this one on the boat, but I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to film for you guys. My mount broke again. So very typical. Here, I can very drop typical. Up. You got it? Yeah. I need the donuts. There you go. Close it, close it, close it. That's not healthy. You know what? It, it was really pretty at first. That whole self gaff deal, and then it didn't work out. But hey, two dolphins in the boat. I'm gonna try and film as much as we can. We're gonna mutton fish, so see you guys when we're doing that. Everybody's always asking in the comment section what type of welder does CJ have and how does he set it up? So I thought we'd just make a little quick seminar on it. So CJ's gonna tell us real quick. All right, boys, so this is a 40 gallon well. Um, I put this lid on here. You could buy these from Home Depot. They're like six, seven bucks. It happens to fit this one perfect. But you can see here the water only fills up halfway. I got an outflow about midway, like an inch and a half of water tank. Um, and then if we want to put, like we don't have many baits in there now, but when we do, we'll do this, close that up, stops this outflow, and it'll fill up to this one. So it'll fill the well all the way where we can keep more bait in there. And then when we're running, we can close this a little, and that'll, because if this is open, water stays about, you know, under here. Mm -hmm. But when we tighten this a little, it'll flow up on here. So you lock it up like this, and it'll pressurize the well. And so when we're running, there's there's no slosh at all, and those baits stay really nice. Especially because we pen baits up, and it just keeps them a lot nicer. Yeah, like CJ was saying, when we pressurize the well and we fill it to the top, we never have, like some, obviously you'll see sometimes when you're running offshore, it could be slick as slick as a day like today and your baits are still sloshing around in the well because you're bouncing a little bit. But when you pressurize the well, it could be six feet. It could it could be so rough and, and the baits aren't moving at all. They're just literally sitting still. But like today, we don't need to fill it all the way because there's not a lot of bait. And this, in a small boat, it's probably not idea to have a 40 gallon well back here because it is pretty heavy, but um, we need a lot of bait. Yeah, we need a lot of bait. So you gotta have the well. So you gotta have the pump too. That's an 1100 rule pump in there, which kind of suck. Yeah. They go way too quick. They do. But you gotta have a spare on on the boat. We always do. So when the when the pump goes, we open it up, swap a new one on there, and we're good to go again. So you guys can see, there's about I don't know what do you, what would you say like in six six foot beam on the boat. CJ, what is it? Five and a half feet? Six feet? On this boat? Yeah. More than that. Eight feet? Yeah. Eight feet. And the well is what? Half of that. So we don't have a lot of room back here, but I mean, this is enough to get tight, obviously, but. Make it work. We do make it work. We do it for the bait. We, we never have, I mean, these little baits die because they die when you hook them. Exactly. Really but we, we rarely, you could, we could put 200, 250, 300 sardines in here and have like two die just because the sabiki gets them wrong or something. But take care of your baits. And this well, the way C just set it up, they're not dying. So look at that hat. Yo! All right. So the last clip you guys probably just saw was us catching that dolphin. And then um, these are two different days. So I forgot to like film a section of what's going on. So I'm telling you right now. Now we are gonna go ahead and start kingfishing. We caught a couple AJs, might have caught some cobia. Um, we're doing the triple hook rig with catching kingfish. Hope you guys enjoy. He's feeling very sleep-esque. Feels like a true red, Chifo. And not a shark, no. Feels like a true red. I got the glasses. It's either that or a shark. Yeah. That really is a shark. Don't tell me. 
Ooh, oh, hello, true, true red. red. Sleeping, <laughs> sleeping wow, on nice it, Chief. Nice, boys. That's a Thought I had a. How was that a kingfish? Jack. Oh. Smoke him, Jay. Three eighty pound right now. That was the weirdest king bite of my life. Dude, you're telling me, man. He literally just like grabbed it, let it go, grabbed it, let it go, grabbed it, let it go. And it swam down with it. Alright guys, the snapper bite was kind of slow, so we ran out here a little bit deeper. Triple hook greeny, my GoPro literally died right when we got in the middle of them. But... And I caught a nice AJ. Oh, John. John, tell the boys who caught that. I, I caught a lie. nice AJ. I hate to tell you, I mean, that's a view. I, caught, yeah. I caught the AJ. Yeah. He's caught a couple kingfish. I'm gonna put the chest back on, we're gonna get to it. Oh, you're oh, tight! Chief, chief, you're tight, chief, you're tight. Get him, get him. He was sleeping on it. Yeah, my noose. Here. Here, Nice gas piece. She's had the old sleeper. Mm -hmm. Always got to always got to let Rodney do her. Classic king sleeper. Cla very classic there. Ooh, wow. Nice gas job by John here. He's probably going to mess it up. Oh wait, that's Forrest. <clears throat> Not today. But now that you said it, I probably will. Oh, he's a petite. That is a That was tough to watch. I I didn't stop watching. If we lose him, I will cry. Chief on the oh petite flipper. Wow. Nice wow. A real nice soft landing. Uh -huh. No. Man, I got that nice. You look tight, John. Yo! You are tight. Petite beneath. It's like you look very tight-esque. On the spinner gang. Ow, dude, what is thy bird eye? Well, I thought you were getting a gap in it, bud. John's on the spinner here, ran out of conventionals. Wow, the most suspect that. thing of my entire life. That was tough to watch. It's the, ho the hooks were very close to popping out. I almost just lost my... You know, you know what happens. Very tough grind. When we don't bring enough conventionals. Wow, look at that hook now. Very I'm going back to my youth days. A couple pink possessed marks. Dude, imagine if we had bait, we could chum them up. Oh, yeah. Come out here and That's that a shark. Any? No. You let that AJ go? That's an AJ? Yeah. That's not mine. Oh What's my that? god. Oh my god. Dude, it was a freaking right 40 pound AJ. Yeah, right there. We're gonna have to drop a runner down here. That's a good one. He was falling. That was a up. freaking I thought that was a shark. Yeah, no, I thought it was your I thought you let yours go. It was good oh. commotion here, maybe he'll I know. Nice one. Alright. So Chief just caught a kingfish, but guess what happened to him? Big surprise. Big surprise. Never seen this before. Got shark. Can't sell this fish now, because sharks are ragged. Chief, what do you guys say about sharks out here? We need to start thinning them out. They're out of Sucks, control. man. They're out of control. Beautiful fish, gone to waste. And so many of the fish, like, what's the point of having regulations on snappers and whatnot when when we can't even get into the boat, they're just dying. They're just getting eaten. You know what I mean? Stupid. That's my two cents on it. All right, guys. I really, really, really appreciate you watching this video. We just scrapped a couple clips together from two different days, like I said earlier. Um, we just want to get a video up. But once again, it, it means the world to me. Each and every one of you guys that drop a like on this video and also purchase a hat. This is original merchandise. It's only going to be on the line for probably a week until we sell out. And... Just please buy it, that's all I'm saying. Link below, link popping up here. There'll be links everywhere. Till next video, what's out, baby?